where? Oh, that brings us down to Mother of Mothers again. Well, more places for us to explore, I guess. I think I might know where this connects. Kinda. This feels like a place I've been before, but it doesn't seem like it. Not according to the map, at least. Oh! Okay, it bugged out. Bummer. Okay. Smack! Goodies! We have a lot of Tears of Atonement now. If I find another one of those shop places, I can buy everything outright. There's a lot of these! <laughs> these Pier Dieu's are very plentiful in this particular area. I don't think I've ever found so many in one place as I have here. Oh. Oh, that's spooky. Um... There are lots of hands here. Oh, jeez. everywhere oh jeez something tells me this guy didn't like me poking him and his arms army friends He suddenly got very nimble. <laughs> he's holding a liar sign so that you know that he's a liar. Ouch. Ah, and here come the hands. Melchiades, the exhumed arch archbishop. Oh, that's like the worst place. Be able to kill this guy. Yeah, figured as much. Wow. This other miracle or uh, skill that we have is much better for this guy than anything else I've had so far. Handsy bastard. Haha, <laughs> okay. That's a lot of damage sources.
Got him. Right, beat his face off off screen. What awaits us at the other end? Not even sure if something's gonna happen here. Oh. Deformed mask of Orests. I don't know what that is. Artifact found in the hands of a dead arch archdeacon in a dreamed world. Hmm. Sporting. I see everything from the highest point of the tried tree in which the miracle has reincarnated me. Neato. <laughs> Don't know what any of this means, though. <laughs> but okay, we have a shortcut at least. Let's uh, head on back through this route here. There are places that we haven't explored on the other side. Let's see. Up this way. And I don't want to leave any stone unturned because uh, with the amount of tears that we have now, this particular thing I wanted to happen just happened. Virtue of Mea Culpa hath ascended. Which gives me the last part of the thrust. It reaches the maximum level of mastery. In the art of lunge, Mea Culpa cuts the air in such a way that it manages to produce a wave that produces damage above and below the blade. Neat. We're also going to get uh, the down spike upgrade and the charge attack upgrade. Uh, I probably should. Yeah, whatever. Let's see, how fast is our charge attack now? That's much faster. Huh. Okay. Well, upgrades are upgrades. We're getting a lot of uh, Tears of Atonement in this particular area. But for all I know, this could be a superb place to grind a bit, perhaps. Who knows? But I'm going to take us over to the other side of this room and explore what we can find over there. And of course, there's a guy on the way. I have witnessed the exhumation of the Archbishop. I have witnessed how they cleansed his bones in wine to, to then dress him in, the silk, in silk and gold. I saw them place the most beautiful jewels on his face and kiss his forehead. I watched as they placed... Ugh. They lifted him up, calling his name, and swayed him to make to make it look as if he was walking again. What was the last part of that sentence? Uh, most beautiful jewels on his face. I watched as they placed rings on his fingers and kissed his hands. Okay. Yeah, so someone was unhealthily fangirling up over a priest. This just gives us a shortcut. Down to where? Eh, down to here. That's fine. But we are not done exploring this area. Yeah, this is definitely one of the more annoying traversal puzzles I've dealt with before. Now we just gotta get down here. Ideally without dying, too. Trapezium of Jeremiah the Hangman. Jeremiah Schweiger took the lives of thousands of prisoners for decades, trusting that his work was sacred. 
When doubt invaded his mind, remorse ravaged him. <sighs> kind of want to say too bad for him, but then again. Okay. Oh, shit. How long have you been sitting there slapping yourself, huh? Oh, behold, gracious lady, a visitor. Oh, please forgive me, penitent one. You stand in the presence of Socorro, our pious lady of the perpetual agony. Isn't she majestic? She's a miracle in herself, unceasing, eternal. She suffers for all of us, day by day, with no rest, with no end. She is our living miracle, a true example of holiness. She suffers for she is our living. Uh, make an offering or end her suffering. Give Mark of the First Refuge. Sure, why not? A tear has rolled off her cheek. Could it be that her torment has diminished? Ah, poor lady. I'm not sure if I should... <laughs> I'm not sure if I should be enabling this stuff. What happens if I end her suffering? So many questions. I'm gonna be reading a bit about this game. Once we're done with our first initial... Oh, shit. Like I said, once we are done with the initial playthrough here. Oh, I have to do this again. One more place to check here. There's a huge bell in this room. I'm sure there's a good reason for that. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, so the bell hurts. Unless you dodge it, I'm not sure. Okay, so once it's passed, am I safe up here from the bell? Ah! No, I'm not. Okay. How many prayers does the great sensor want? When will it tire and stop swaying? When will we be able to stand again? Lower your head, close your eyes, pray, and do not get up. Okay. So this is like uh, something that we're looking up to. Also, I have guilt now. Did I not pick up my... I guess I didn't pick up the thing. Okay. Hurry, 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 hurry. Nope. Did not make it. Hurry. 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 Oh, we made it. What kind of goodies will hide in here? Oh, the sensor is here too. Ah, silly angry bell. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh! Ah! That's a bell. Oops. Howdy. Smoking Heart of Incense. Which is... Enhances the power and duration of prayers, but also increases their cost by one fervor bar. Righto. Alright. Got the goodie there, at least.
Come on now. Get fucked. <laughs> I'm just kind of looking for a place to stop at the moment, I think. Well, not exactly, but still. <sighs> See? No, stop. Stop shanking me. Alright. Uh, if I go down here, where does this take me? Oh, right. This place. We've been here before, haven't we? I guess I, I think I have, but from a different angle, maybe. Yeah, this is the big... This is a big room of sorts. But, how am I supposed to get up? Oh, there's... Uh There are blood floors. This would give us Trapezoid of Yeager, the jeweler. Unjustly sentenced to the stake by order of Ash Ashgan, the Inquisitor, Tyrant Yeager's family became ashes. Blinded by revenge, he forged a ring with their remains, a ring that is now believed to be cursed. Okie dokes. Right. This is back here again. At least we made a full trip around. There's still a place for us to check out, but I actually do think I have to stop for now. Well, I can go for a little bit longer. I think I really need to stop doing these long... Uh, these long recording sessions, because I've been trying to get back into proper work. <laughs> uh, proper uh, A proper workflow when making Let's Plays. Primarily because um, for the last few months I've been, I tend to end up having to to record stuff like the same day it's supposed to be released, etc. And I don't feel like I'm, I do my best work, especially not when editing. Oh. Especially not when editing at that point. Uh, okay. What's the matter, buddy? Oh, my sins. Is a long journey filled with reflection not enough? What of the calluses on the feet, the cramps in the legs, the thirst, the forehead scorched by a sun that seemeth never to set? And what about the torturing of the mind when guilt pierceth our hearts time after time? What more punishment do ye want, O oh, sins of mine? Thou art before the first pilgrim, the first of the barefoot rule, master of all errant sinners. This old limestone statue was erected where the pilgrimage of the master ended, where he took his last step. It was then that the miracle carried him in its arms so he could continue his path on the road of the old procession. Barefoot master, what else dost thou want from me? Barefoot master. Huh. So what now? Barefoot master. Is the whole point of this guy just... Just him reaching the end and not getting what he wants? Do I kill him? I can't seem to kill him. Barefoot master. Ah. Feels like something is about to happen there that I don't know. But he is not happy at least. Okay, we have a couple of options now. We can go back to the library. There is uh I think we're supposed to just keep heading up uh, on account of the tree and whatnot. So I think I'm, I'm just going to call it quits here, make my way down to the library. Like so. And then 
for the next episode, we'll, we'll explore the library a bit. Doesn't that sound lovely? Alright, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.